Good morning. This morning, I think that I'm here to encourage you that God is, is priming the pumps. He is getting ready to r release this um, fire hydrant level pressure of miracles. Not just a trickle, not just a drip, not just one here and one there. You know, in the book of Acts, right around chapter five and six, it says that like the church was growing and people would take their sick family members out and, and sit them along the street when they knew Peter, not, not the Lord, not not Jesus, not an angel. When they knew Peter, a man, and in many ways, you know, a, a weak man, but he was filled with the power from on high. He was filled with Holy Spirit people would lay their sick family members, friends, on the street so that Peter, would you know, come over and pray? No. So that even his shadow would pass over them. They would be healed. Okay. What? Yeah. It's truth. It's in the word of God. And we serve God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you believe in miracles? I feel like this morning I'm here to give us all the room, the space that we need to step back for a minute <laughs> and sort of examine our own hearts and remind ourselves what is truth. God's word is truth. I know you know that I believe that. Do you believe in miracles? This, this book, this Bible, from Genesis through Revelation is polluted with them. It's packed with them. But it doesn't just fall to God's supernatural uh, descending onto us with the miraculous. I mean, that's a part of it right? God appeared to Moses in smoke and fire on the mountain. And he told him, right? I am the Lord. I am the compassionate, the merciful, the faithful. And there was so much glory from God that Moses face shone. It was bright. It had like glory on it so to the point that he had to cover his face with a veil because the people were like Whoa, holy what <laughs> now god put his spirit on us when jesus ascended into heaven am i right so if you are a child of god if you have confessed jesus as your savior you are the house. You're the temple where Holy Spirit lives. And just like Peter, a fisherman, a disciple of Jesus, you're a disciple of Jesus. You're filled with the power that is from on high. 
<laughs> this is not where I started out this morning. This is not where I was headed. So thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and Peter, even his shadow fell on the people who were laid in the streets so that when he walked by, they would be healed. Now, you might be thinking, well, Tracy, that's, that's really sweet, you know. People, people laid their loved ones in the streets so when Peter walked by, uh, they, they, they might be healed. You know, maybe, maybe Peter's shadow would fall over them or you know, maybe Peter would you know, pray for them, touch them. That was really sweet of those family members. Hey, guess what? The Bible says people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. Crowds gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by impure spirits. And guess what? And all of them were healed. So it wasn't just a nice thought. It wasn't just a, a hopeful uh, gesture. All of them were healed. Do you believe in miracles? D do you believe in miracles? I, I would love it. If, if everyone who watches this video <laughs> would post a miracle that has happened in their life, an obvious miracle, because do you know what I think? I think that on the day-to-day, -day, we experience miracles that we don't even recognize as miracles. We don't even, we don't even pause long enough to realize that God sent angels to protect us. We don't even pause long enough to realize that that sickness could have ended in death. But God intervened and healed. We don't realize that the prayer of faith that we offered for that baby to hear and not be deaf was answered by God and he worked a creative miracle in that child's ears. And sound came. A miracle. Do we realize that that trip we planned, the one that we laid before God and said, I can't do this, but you can do it. Would you do it? And that puppy went just like clockwork. Miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle from the Lord. That family member who is sick in the hospital, who you prayed for. And they are healed. Do we even recognize it or do we let it fall past us? That relationship that was destined for the garbage can healed. And so often, because it's not exactly the way that we would have expected the miracle to occur, we miss it. I miss it. I'm here this morning to tell you that God is still in the miracle working business. Is he a genie in the bottle? He is not. But does he see you? Does he know you? Does he love you? Does he hear your prayers? He does. And I know that a few of the people who I love the most have had unanswered prayers or prayers answered no recently. 
big ones, big ones. Do you still believe? In miracles and when I say do you believe in miracles what I really mean is do you still believe in the miracle working God do you still believe in the miracle working power of Holy Spirit within us upon us do you still believe that a man can walk through the streets and even his shadow can touch someone who will be healed because in Acts when Peter did it they all got healed. Get your hopes up. Today, as you go into this week, get your hopes up. My power is made, <laughs> my weakness is made perfect by the power of God. Get your hopes up. In the book of Isaiah, um, chapter 55, um, verse 8, the scripture says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Look, it might not feel or look the way we expected it to feel or look, but are we allowing that to close off our ears and eyes to the miracles that are happening around us every day? All the little miracles that are leading up to the big miracle. Because, you know, it was a miracle that those family members brought their people out into the streets so that Peter's shadow could fall on them in the first place. Listen, don't stop praying. Don't stop asking. Don't stop seeking. I'm here today to encourage you that God is priming the pumps for miracles and they are going to be unleashed with the pressure of a fire hydrant, not little drips. I really believe that we are about to see a move of God that if our eyes are open to him, we will be blown away. We will be blown away. And do you know where it begins? It begins with you and me who are housing Holy Spirit. Open your mouth and pray for the things that you, you're you just not sure if they can be. Pray for them anyways, because God is God. You are not. His ways are higher. Go out today as you go into your week. And, and, and think about this. Do you believe in miracles? Because we serve a God who is ready to move on our behalf. But are we humble enough to ask him to do it? It's going to be a great day.